just like that, we're back again. Check this out, folks. I won something. <laughs> and listen, I used to be that person, guys. I used to be that person that would be like, I don't ever win anything. I'm not going to enter. I'm not going to play, you know. And and guess what? I, I've won stuff. So this is from Jersey Girl. Thank you, Jersey Girl. Jersey Girl Hot Sauce. <coughs> And there's all kinds of stickers and swag in here. You know I'm going to be putting... Some of these are going to go on my uh, my League of Fire um, folder. There's actually... There's a an extra cap with an orifice reducer. A magnet. Eliza is going to love this. She loves magnets. And there is a bracelet. I'll throw that on right now. Look at that. It, it, it matches my wedding ring. You know why I got this wedding ring? Because I'm fat. <laughs> My, no, my my real wedding ring does not fit. So, Jersey Girl Hot Sauce. And that is the, uh, there's, there's I think there was some more, maybe a couple more stickers in there. That is the swag. What about the shag, baby? All right, so this is B-Sweet. This is a honey hot sauce. We're going to review it right about now, right here on Uncle Bull Cow. Yep, and so yeah, and I have and I have one things I do enter now. I mean, way back when I first started being in the pepper groups and so on and so forth, I may have not entered a few things, and then I said heck with it. I entered and I've won stuff. I won hot sauce holsters, multiple bottles of hot sauce, seeds, hot pepper seeds. So I can't complain. I always tell people, I, listen, I'm going to tell you something. I've done humongous giveaways right here on this channel, on Instagram. And, and I've told people, they've, I've seen those, the, the, the negative Nancy's that I'm not going to win. I'm like, you never know. And I actually had people that said that, that entered and won. Oh, yeah. So this is B Sweet. Jersey Girl Hot Sauce. I'm Uncle Bull Cow. Look at that. Oh my. It's hot and it's sweet and it's honey. Wow. I am so impressed with this. Guys, if any of you remember every Tuesday night at 8.30, we used to do Tincture Tuesday with Uncle Bullcott and friends on um, Instagram Live. And... Me, I used to always, I, I do not like doing straight tink. Plus, you know, I'm kind of a sissy, so full Robbie's of the hottest tinctures in the world were not my thing. But I would still host. And um, and so we still do stuff on there. We're going to do Tincture Tuesday, this coming Tuesday. And it's going to be a training um, with um, today's adventure. So you can join us on that. But... You guys remember, I used to put hot honey and tincture in the, in my peppers to do a gusher. I would do one right now, but I'm on a completely empty stomach. But I, I got super hots right here. Um, this is that. This is that sauce. So this right here, I wouldn't need to put any tincture in it. This would be that. And I kept telling people about it. I'm like, you got to try this. You got to try this. Put some hot honey and some tincture the thing is the hot honeys that i had back then i probably still have some laying around they were not that hot this has got freaking heat to it this has got kick um you guys know my uh mm, my heat tolerance went down and it's never got back up no matter how many challenges i do no matter how much i try to do them So I've been able to gauge the heat and stuff uh, better compared to, you know, if I compare it to the newer chili head, the moderate chili head, or even the non-chili head. Uh, whereas before I kind of had a natural tolerance since I was a kid where 
I wouldn't detect heat as much. Um, for as far as doing challenges, hey guys, look at since December, I'm still in the top 10 worldwide league of fire. But um, to keep that up there, I don't know. I do have challenges. I'm gonna continue to do challenges, but they're far they're far harder on me. But that's okay. Um, whatever happened, the whole family got sick. I'm sure you guys heard the story over and over. While I was sick, I was doing challenges. I was pushing myself. It was helping me. It was clearing me out. It was, you know, giving me a good sweat and um, take away the pain from the sickness. And when I came out of that, whatever we had, uh, I was tasting sauces and stuff that I never got burned from that were lighting me up. And I was like, whoa. And I was, uh, I was down at Blazing Foods with Johnny Scoville and I was telling him about it. And this was, so Johnny, probably the, one of the first people, well, I mean, he was, I think the first person I told face to face, like, hey, I'm getting rocked off anything. And he said, he, he's heard of that before. He heard a guy say that to him before. And, um, you know, I've had people and maybe, maybe he's one of them that said, oh man, that sucks. And I'm like, no, it doesn't. It's kind of cool because now I'm able to kind of feel like the, you know, the new chili head or somebody that doesn't really eat spice. I'm kind of able to feel what they feel. Whereas before, since I ate my first super, like really hot pepper, which was seven, or I've had a natural tolerance, it's never went up, but it's never went down. It's just kind of always been the same. Um, and it wasn't crazy high, it wasn't like my wife. With that being said, this is still hot. And I'm telling you that before, um, you know, I got sick and this kind of drop in tolerance happened, I would still, be able to recognize the heatness and tell you it is hot. Now, I'm on an empty stomach, so let's see what another. <laughs> let's see what another spoonful. But wait, hold on one second. Wait. Lord have mercy. Let's try. Oh man, this is gonna be it right here, guys. Wow, let me grab some cream. Oh, this is going to be it right here. All right, let's do this. Coffee. Yeah, I'm in the South. We, we drink our coffee out of uh, mason jars down here. You got a problem with it? All right, let's go in a little more. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. I don't know what made me just think of this, but this is, I guarantee you this is going to hit so hard. This is a new trend, guys. Before I even do it, I'm telling you, this is going to be a new trend. You got to try it. Cheers. Oh my, I don't know what made me think of this. I don't know what made me think of it. I just literally was, I think maybe what made me think of it is that I haven't had anything to eat, but I did have a cup of coffee and um, coffee's not the, you know, it's not the best thing for cap cramps, but it is acidic. And so um, I think it would help your stomach more than water would, but hey, cheers to Jersey girl. Uh, what do I know about Jersey girls? Well, I know one thing. I don't know too much, but I do know one thing. They make the absolute best Taylor ham on a hard roll with egg. I actually lived in Jersey for about six months, so I don't have full knowledge of Jersey, but I do have some. <clears throat> and uh, it's, I'm from New York. Hey. Jersey's a beautiful place in the summer. <laughs> New York, beautiful place in the summer. Those long winters up there, I could not do it no more. Now, don't get me wrong, I hate the heat. Um, you know, I was outside yesterday, it was only 76, but it was the first time that I was in the sun for a while like that. And man, I was not liking it. I was like, oh no, oh no. So don't like the heat. But uh, after being in North Carolina now for about 12 years, I do not like the cold at all. And when we go up north, <clears throat> uh, we go up to New York, 
every couple of years, we go up in the summer. We went up in the spring. 2021, guys. 2021. It was the end of April, early May. May 1st. Flurries. It snowed. Yeah. So we'll make sure to go up in August. But be sweet. This is a game changer right here. This is a game changer. I could put this on ribs, a pulled pork sandwich, some chicken. Um, I could make a, a salad dressing. A honey Dijon with this would be insane. And I might just do that today. Um, and you know, also, you could put it in your coffee straight like that in the coffee. I could uh, do gushers with this. I mean, come on, guys. Look at these beautiful peppers. Uh, look at that. You just bite the tip off, and you fill this thing right up with this sauce. You don't need no tincture. That pepper and this sauce together are going to, bam, punch you right in the freaking mouth, jabroni. Wow. I am stoked. I'm a believer, and uh, I will be ordering some of this stuff. So, guys, go show some love, and I would tell anybody that likes hot honey, anybody that likes a good hot sauce, and just this is, this is top notch right here. Um, I am sold on it, and thank you, Jersey Girl. I appreciate this so much. Uncle Bull Cow. Highly recommended. Go get you some.